Now, what is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video. And today we will continue working on our Yelp application. So right now we are pretty good already. So we're already displaying the data we fetched from the API. Uh, there's only a couple of things to do. So for example, this one here, like this part, this one is still hard coded. And also if we try to do another search and we hit enter, nothing happens. So we will take care of these two in a second. So let's go to our code editor and let's go to our search component over here. And we already know how many results our search has because our hook is returning this amount results prop. So we can just pass this down, right? And what we also want to pass down is we want to pass down how many results we're currently showing. Because theoretically there could be, I don't know, a thousand results, um, but we only fetch 20 because apparently we don't want to want a thousand, we want, don't want to load a thousand uh, items from the server. And that's why this shown results indicates how many of these uh, amount results we have already loaded. And I've just been a little bit defensive here. So I've just, I just said, okay, if businesses is not null, then I'm going to, or truthy, then I'm going to return businesses.length and otherwise I'm going to return zero. So maybe let's space this out a little bit. Yes, maybe like this, like this, and like this. So that's pretty good. And now we can go to our actual component. And by the way, this search results component, this is like this component with a grayish uh, background color. And in here we immediately see, oh, uh, we're displaying this hard coded value here and we don't want that. Um, now, one thing here though is if we don't have this amount results prop defined or the shown results prop, then actually we don't want to display anything because theoretically once a user kicks off a search and it's like the first time a search is being kicked off you just don't have any results and then show and then saying something like showing zero results out of zero that's that's kind of weird right so let's just say let result stats results stats equals null so this is going to be empty at first and then we say if our amount results prop is truthy, so if it's defined and not zero, and if our shown results prop is defined and not zero, so if this is truthy, then we are going to display some results statistics. And we can actually take this one, copy it over here, and instead of displaying these hard coded numbers, let's just display the value from our props. So props.amount results. Okay, and now we can get rid of this hard coded thing in here. And instead of displaying the hard coded paragraph, we are going to display the content of this variable. Now that should already work. So if we go to our site and just say barbers and we hit enter and pay close attention to this part of the screen, bam, you see it's not there and then bam, it arrives. So that's pretty cool. So when we're searching, we're actually not displaying this paragraph because it would just be useless. So that's pretty good. Um, Another thing is that somehow the search over here just doesn't work. So whatever we enter here, we hit enter or click something, nothing happens. Um, and we need to work on that. So let's just go to our code editor and to our search component. And remember that our nav bar itself contains this, so this one contains the search bar and the search bar is the thing that holds these two inputs. And this prop already has a callback 
And we just all we need to do is we just need to pass some callback to it and then it should work, right? So if you submit it, it's going to call props.search. Okay, fair enough. So let's go to our search component. Let's write a function. Let's call it function search. It takes two parameters like term and location. Oh, and right now we are kind of shadowing like this location here but well, that's okay it shouldn't be too bad okay now what do we want to do okay maybe let's just console log it i am called and now we can just pass another prop so we can just pass search and then in our nav bar we need to pass down this prop to our search bar so we will say search equals props.search. Okay, so every time the form is now being submitted, our callback um, should be called. Yeah, our callback should be called and this should work. So right now we're not doing anything, we're just console logging it. So let's try this out. Uh, I am going to open the console over here and I'm going to put in burgers. Bam. And you see, okay, nice. We are getting this console log. So that means our callback function is working. But we're actually not kicking off a new search, right? So we should definitely do that. And it's actually pretty easy because remember the last parameter of our custom hook is this set search params uh, function. And what this does is every time you call it, it's going to kick off a new search. Because remember, our hook here, this use effect hook, depends on this search params uh, state variable. And if you call the setter of this, then this hook knows, oh, I have to do something, I have to run again. And then it's going to fetch uh, the data. So basically, we could also name this perform search. Um, but like in hooks, it's just common to have like the, just a variable and then the setter. But outside of the hook, for clarity, we could just say perform search. Okay. And then instead of just doing nothing, let's just say perform search. And here it's important that we pass uh, the term and the location as an object. Because remember, these setters, like the setters from custom hooks, they can only take one parameter. They can't take more than one. Uh, and that's why we're passing our uh, logic as an object. Okay, so if we now save, and uh, let's maybe close this one out. So say we say burgers, oh no, burgers, and then burgers. And bam, theoretically, yes. Nice. Did you see that? So we're currently loading a new search result. So that's pretty good. Uh, but you can already see a couple of problems. So the first thing is that in here, uh, we're not showing the proper search query. So this is a problem. And this one, I think it's indeed 543 results. So if you search for barbers, you see, nice. Now it's dynamic, so that's that's okay. Uh, so this is not an issue, but this is an issue, right? The correct search term is not displayed. And the reason for that is um, that we are only passing the search term the, ver the very first time um, the search component is rendered. So when you go to search, we check the URL, we figure out the term and the location, and then we're passing this down to our search results summary component. However, if the user kicks off another search, then the value or the values of these two variables have changed. But this is not reflected in our application. So what we need to do is we need to grab this uh, search params uh, variable here from our hook. And we need to use search params dot term and search params dot location. And if we do that, 
and we search for I don't know burgers bam you see now all of a sudden the correct Hamburg the correct term and the correct city they are displayed so that's pretty good now be in mind that it can be a little bit slow because we are proxying our request through this course anywhere app and uh, the service not that fast now right now we're pretty good I would say uh, we just have one little problem here right now our URL hasn't updated so even though we've searched for burgers like we still have barbers in the URL but since we are already over 10 minutes I would say let's just uh, close the video right now and finish the video off and let's continue in the next section so thank you very much for watching uh, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also I've linked an email list in the video description down below so if you have some ideas of what we could do or if you want to see a particular project being built um, then you can give me feedback so from time to time I'm going to send a poll around and uh, yeah then if people definitely want to see a particular subject I'll do my best uh, to provide it so again thank you very much um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so